I want to show you the reason why you've had a tight psoas and it's still giving you trouble even after years of stretching. If stretching worked, we wouldn't still be here trying to figure out why this is disrupting the rest of my body. Now there are two steps to solving this problem. The first step, as with anything, is asking ourselves, why is this problem here? In this system, why are both of these psoas muscles, or one in particular, being taxed specifically? And then obviously number two is going to be solving this problem as a system. Because if I have a posture that's putting more tension on this psoas and keeping this locked into this position, it doesn't matter how much I stretch that if my body is putting that tension back into this place, the problem will persist. Now, first things first, we need to understand that the body has to do two things. First and foremost, before it worries about performance or anything else. The number one thing is breathe, and most of us suck at breathing. Then number two is maintaining a center of balance. And the body is constantly trying to figure out how to configure itself in the best way possible to harmonize with gravity. So our two main problems is we suck at breathing, i.e. our diaphragm usage and our ribcage expansion. And then number two is we get stuck in positions, inhibiting future movement. Now, if we don't have full ranges of motion available to us, other muscles and joints have to work harder, then we get pain. Now, when we're stuck into this anterior pelvic tilt position, what happens is our body weight is usually dumped forward more onto our toes than on our midfoot and heels. This creates tight hip flexors and both of those things lead to weak and inactive glutes. So the first step in fixing this is controlling how the ribs stack over the pelvis with our posture chores. If we can get that pelvis back into a good clean position where it can access both the anterior and posterior tilt positions, then our femurs can internally rotate and externally rotate with less restriction. And all of those things promote healthy glute function. This is why if you truly want to unlock the psoas, don't just stretch it in isolation. Fix the systemic issues first, and you're going to feel a lot of relief in that area.